Hi everyone, this is Richie the Legend, board game fanatic, coming from you from my house again, doing another game playthrough of Spirit Island. Spirit Island is a very difficult game, and there are a lot of rules pertaining to Spirit Island. And it's kind of like a uh, pandemic in a way, because pandemic you're trying to control a virus. With this, you're trying to control the invaders to come in onto this island. And there are these uh, people called the Lihan that you're trying to protect. You are a god. You don't have no presence physically on the island, but you do have spiritual presence. So you have powers that you will use to maneuver the invaders or scare them off the island. That's your whole premise of trying to get through the game. There's three ways of losing. First, one way is by blight. During the ravage phase, and we'll explain this later on, if there is uh, two invaders that attack a certain space, you will produce blight. Blight is not good for us. We only have, for a solo game, five blight. There's five blight per person. If you have a four player game, there will be 20 blight. So you have a little more of a chance. But there is more invaders on the board because each uh, player gets a board and we will set those up. We'll show you how to set that up. So that is one way. If we remove, we get all the blind on the board, we lose. Next way we lose is if all the invader cards that we have, are we going through, are gone. That's another way of losing. The next way is by presence. We will have presence on the board for our god. If we lose all our presence, we lose the game. Now the way we win the game is by uh, specific uh, settings at certain times. At first, we're going to have to take away all invaders, all towns, and all cities. That is probably going to be impossible. Um, so we want to keep ourselves alive and keep the invaders in bay so we can um, get to another level that's easier to conquer. So uh, we'll explain that here in a little bit. I just want to give you an intro of how the game is. Alright, so now we're going to talk about the main board and also the invader board when we start doing setup. So let's go to setup. Okay, the first one we're going to talk about is the game board for our character. We are the shadows flicker like a flame. To set this up, we need to turn this board over and it will give us a premise of what we have to do first. So we're going to set this up. We're going to flip it over. And under setup, it says put two, three presents on your starting board. Two in the highest number jungle and one in land five, number five. So that's basically telling us where our presents can be uh, at. And this is just going to determine how we play our cards. And we'll explain our first starting cards here in a little bit. But we first need to put our presence on the map board. So we're going to go to the map board and I'll show you how that's done. So we're looking at the highest number jungle and land number five. So let's go to the board. Okay, so we got our board here. We have, if you see, we have the ocean is here. We have our desert areas. These are these tan areas. We have our forest, jungle, jungle areas are here. These are our mountains, and these are the marshlands. So, what it told us to do is we're going to put two presents on the highest number jungle. So we get two of our discs, and we place them here. Then we're going to place one on number five, and that's in the desert. So we're going to put one there. So those are the two places where we're present at this time. Now, later on, we will probably add more presences because we need to to get more cars and also get more uh, power to use our cards. Alright, so that is our first part of the setup. The next part of the setup is shown on the board itself. We have Dehan. Uh, number th if you look at number three desert, we need two Dehan. So we're going to put two Dehan there. And these are ones we're protecting. We're going to put two Dehan right here. Okay. We're also going to put two Dehan on number one marshland. We're also going to put two Dahan on the jungle where our two presents are at.
and we will put a Dahan on number seven mountain. So this is where all our Dahan reside. Now we're gonna have to start with some invaders in our area. So first one is our big city. We'll be in our mountain area here. And we have, let's see you. Uh, one town in number six. And we also have a blight we start out with right here. So we do start with one blight. Okay, so that is basically our starting part of our board. Okay, so next thing we need to do is set up our invader board to get ready for the game. So let's go there next. Okay, this is our invader board. Let me bring it just spread out. This we have the whole thing in view. There we go. All right, and we're going to first um, put our fear on the board. So we get a fear pool of four per player. So we're going to have four fear on the top to start with. Okay. Then um, we are going to set up our invader cards. So we start with the number th three first. We will shuffle them. And we have a total of six cards, but we're going to put five cards in here. On, so I'm going to shuffle them up. And I'll take one out. And I'll place them on the explore section right here. So we got five, three, three, uh, three cards. Then we do it our two cards, we do the same thing, we shovel those. And we're taking four out of five. And we place those on top. And then we place our one cards, three of them, take one out and place those on top. All right, now we have a blight pool. Normally you would use cards, but because we're starting out, this is our first game, we are going to use just the, the uh, five per player. So we're gonna put five blight on here. And like I said before, if either our invader cards get uh, finished or we uh, lose all our blind on this board, we lose the game. All right, next thing we have to do is our fear. Now the fear is good for us. So we need to shuffle. I shuffle all my fear cards and then I will do uh, nine cards total. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place those on the, this right here. All right, now on this board for Terra ter level one, we need, like I told you before, victory condition will be having all invaders gone, all our cities and all our towns gone, crossed up. All right, well, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have to put our Terra level three in here at the bottom. And we take, what we do is we take the first, the, uh, bottom two, three cards, place those on top, and then we're going to put our tarot level three. Now the last tarot level two, we finish all the fear cards. I kind of didn't mention this. If you finish all the fear cards, you win the game automatically. But tarot level three will be only city. So if we can get all the cities out when we're in tarot level three, we're good. But right now we're in tarot level one. So we take three more cards, place those on top of that, and we have tarot level two. If we get tarot level two, all we need is to get all the towns and all the city, cities out. But then we have three cards on top of that. So, the object is, is we want to generate fear. Every time we pull our pool, pull our four fear out, off the top, we will generate one of these cards. And during this scenario, around, we will use those cards. And it will help us defeating certain specific uh, cities or the uh, explorers or this uh, towns, okay? That's basically, um, that is our setup. One thing we have to still do is we have to take the first card, the first one up, and we're gonna flip it over, and it's for us. So basically, we're gonna put a bunch of uh, explorers 
in one, we're going to put one explorer on each forest. So let's go back to the main board again. Okay, so we have our main board. So we're going to add two explorers, one on that space and one on this space. Okay? So what's going to happen is next, this next round, we will start building. And the way we build is if we have a city, a town, or an explorer in an adjacent space, or if they're in the same space, we will um, produce a town. If there's a town in the space, then we will produce the city. And then we will produce another city, town and go, so on and so forth. But we don't want that to happen. We're going to try to get rid of them before that. So that is part of our objective, to try to get rid of those before it cycles and gets worse and worse and worse. Okay? So that is our setup for that part of it. Now we need to set up our character card on the other side so we can start playing. So let's go to our character card again. Now that we set up our main board, we set up our invader board, we need to set up our character board. Well, what we do is we take our rest of our uh, presences and we're going to put them on these circles that have a dotted. And that's what I was saying about putting more presence on the board because I want to need more. Okay, so we need to add it's more in here. We got a bunch of presents still. So we have an opportunity to keep going. Okay. So we got that. So basically when we start this game, we will have get to play one card. Basically this is what it says here, cards played. You get to play one card out of your power deck of your spirit. You don't have any energy, energy per turn right now, but on the top here, these are your growth picks, and you already can gain three energy at this point. So there's a chance to gain three energy during your turn, okay? Now, basically that is our setup for the character. Also, we need our markers. You get some special markers if you need them for a specific card, so we remind ourselves if it's a defense. These are defense symbols, or another type of ability you would use that side. Okay? You also will get four starting cards. Now we're gonna talk about these four starting cards first, and then we're gonna go into, also I'll talk about the power progression, um, how you get other power cards, and then we'll talk about the turns. Okay? So let's talk about the First, the spirit cards. So let's go uh, check those out. Okay, so our first card is Conceals Your Shadows. Alright, now I'm going to explain the cards because you need to know um, what these are used for. First thing on the top left hand corner is how much power you will use to use this card. Well, this one has zero. So well, that's good, we don't have to worry about, we can use it any time we want during the game. But the thing is, when you use a power, it goes into your discard pile. And the only way to get these cards back is reclaiming. And we'll talk more about the spirit phase here in a bit, and how you reclaim the cards back. But, this is, um, that is what that means. Then you have some symbols on the left hand side. These will come in effect when you are determining if you have an innate power you can use this round. You have certain symbols, and on your character card, on the bottom of the character card, there are innate powers. And depending on how many symbols you have, you're playing that turn via cards, you will determine if you get a specific innate power you can use. Now, there's two different types of powers. There's fast powers and slow powers. This one is a fast power because mainly because the uh, where the power indication is, it's red. So any fast power will be red. Also, you can determine that by the speed on the card here. It's a bird symbol. That is a fast power. Okay. The range means that it has to be where a pres a space where present is there. So you have, the only time you can use this power is where there's uh, presence of you on that space. 
Now the target land could be any land. Sometimes it's specific. It may say jungle, it may say mountains, it may say marsh, it may say coastal, it may say inland. So we'll explain what coastal and inland mean in just a few minutes. Okay, but the power is we get one fear. So the first thing we do is we collect one fear. So that's good for us. As soon as we get four fear, we get a fear card. So that's one good thing. Next thing is that the Dehan, that's a symbol there, take no damage from ravaging invaders this turn. So this is a good card to use when you do have ravaging invaders in a specific land and you can use this card and they will not be affected. One good thing about this is is if they, they do get ravaged, um, they will hit a, a land for a specific amount, but the, the Han will not get hurt. So what they can do is they can strike back after the ravage phase, and they, each Han you have in a space is worth two damage. So uh, they could probably kill some of those invaders off at that point. So that's how that works. Now let's go to the next card. Okay, the next card is a slow power. And you can see the speed shows a turtle. Okay, so this is, um, you, you have to use one power for it. It's called Manta Dread. You have one, three more three more symbols on this card. Um, you also can do, uh, were there any invaders, any invaders they can attack. You get two Ferronomatically off this card. And then the target spirit may push one explorer and one town from a land where it has presence. Now sometimes the presence will show two discs. If it does show two discs, then you have to have two discs on that space. Some monsters do not have two discs because they have a special ability that will cause them to have a two disc thing with one. But this, um, this uh, god does not have that, so we have to have one presence there. Okay, so that, um, the one good thing about pushing means you can take it away from that space. And if it's dependent on, let's say you're doing a ravage that turn and those two get put in a desert somewhere where there's no, no actions involved, then you won't have to worry about them for that round. So that, the only problem is though, is this a slow power. This is done after the uh, invader phase. So in actuality, you now think about it, this one will only affect the next round. So you had to, when you push something out of somewhere, you had to say, well, next round this is going to be these people are going to ravage this in this space. So we had to put them in a space that's not going to do ravage. That's the whole objective of these cards. So that is Mount to Dread. Let's go to the next one. Okay, next uh, card is favorite of the card do. It's a slow power also, and it takes one power. Um, this one you can do one range from a presence. So one space, adjacent space, around that presence, any sprint, and any target land. You can gather up four Dahan. So if you let's say, for example, you have a ravage came up, coming up, and you have four Dahan in other spaces that you want to use those to, to destroy some of those guys, you would gather them into that space. So it depends on what space you want to do, but it's only one space away from the presence. If pre invaders are present and the Han now outnumber them after you gather them, you get three fear to put on your invader. That is awesome. Three fear. So you don't need one more one fear and then you get uh, another fear card. So that's how that works. That is favorite call do. We have one more card. Okay, the last card is crops wither and fade. This is a slow power also, it takes one power. And the range is zero, so it has to be where presence is in that space. Okay, you collect two fear, then you replace one town with a explorer, and that's so good because when we do attacking, um, an explorer is only worth one damage, and a city is worth two. So that reduces your amount of hits that you get um, one. The same thing uh, you can do also a city. Replace that with a town, and that means that it'll be only two instead of three. And we'll explain all more about how that is done when we do the game uh, playthrough. Okay? So those are all the cards. All right. Now we're going to explain the board, and also we're going to talk about the how a turn is done.
Okay, the first thing that's going to happen in the turn is we are going to do a spirit phase. Now what that entails is first you're going to pick one of the three options under the growth on your character card. So with my spirit, I have, first of all, reclaim cards, plus I gain one power card. Uh, the other one is gain a power card and add one presence to the board, one away from another presence. Or I can add one presence, three spaces away from one of presence, plus three energy. So right now, I do not have any extra energy that I can use. One good thing about removing presence off the game, game energy is that we'll have that extra energy per every round I will get specific energy. If I take it off the card place, there's a chance that I will have two cards to play instead of one. So right now, at this moment, I can only actually use the two other option to get gain, uh, gain three energy, and I have no extra energy for my presence track, and I only get to play one card. So we're starting kind of low. So we have to be smart of what we use and what cards we use. Okay, like I said before, is after you do that, and you determine uh, what uh, growth phase you can use, then you go and you pick the cards that you're going to play. You pick your cards you're going to play, and then you put the amount of energy that you have to use for that card. Okay, as soon as you finish that, then this is where the event, uh, the invader board comes into effect, and we can show you how the full turn works. So that is basically the spirit phase using the character card and getting it. Now on the bottom, one thing I forgot to mention here, and I've been mentioned now, is like I told you about the innate power. So if I have two of the one symbol, the white symbol, and one of the orange symbol, I can gather one uh, explorer in a space. And it could be one oh and this is um, this is what I was talking about. This is a two disc, so it has to be from a two disc space, and I can gather one space away from that, so it'll be adjacent space. I can gather one uh, army away from a space that I don't want it in there, so we can gather. Gather means you're pulling that from a space. Pushing means you're pushing it away from a space. Okay, sometimes it looks like may look like it's the same, but it's not. Okay, then you have you have three white symbols, two. Um, orange. Now, one thing good about this is, it's let's say you have three and two. That means you can do the top one and do the second one. So it doesn't say or. So you can do all these powers. These powers are automatically done. They're not part of a card. They're not part of a thing. So if you have four symbols, three orange or white, three orange and two purple. They can do all three of these and that would be extensively uh, good because we can take care of stuff. Now that's why you want to have two presence on certain spaces so you can take, get these innate powers. You also have a special power. It's special rules. And it says the shadows of Dahan. Whenever you use a power on a card or in a power. You may pay one energy to target a, a land with uh, Dahan regardless of the power range. So if we have Dahan somewhere away from the presence, double presences, then you can use that power for that space. So that's awesome. But you have to pay an extra energy for that. Okay? So I want to explain the powers and the special rules first. All right, so let's go to the invader, uh, invader board, and we'll talk about the turn, and then we'll get started with gameplay. Okay, on the invader board, in the center, and I want to be you close so you can see this, um, you have the spirit island phase order. This is for a turn. So the first thing we said is the spirit phase. So what's going to happen when you do your growth, you're going to gain your energy that you can get for 
whatever growth you got and also the extra energy on your track and then you choose and choose cards and pay for the powers on the cards the next thing's going to happen is the fast powers will go so that was before the inventor phase so all your fast powers will um, go so for example for me it's whatever fast powers I have in my cards and my innate powers if I can use them so that is um, that part. Then we have our inventor phase. The blood item we don't have to worry about because we're not using the cards, so that is a good thing for us. <laughs> right now we're just concerned about not getting blood on the board. The next thing that's going to happen is we're going to go through Ravage. Ravage will be the first thing to start. The first turn that we have will not have Ravage. The next turn we will have Ravage. Depending on if we have anything in our jungle space. Right now we don't have anything in the jungle space, so we're good. But we will have a build phase and that will be done via the jungles and dependent if we have a city, a town, or an explorer adjacent to that space or there's something in that space, we will either put a town, if there's no town in the space, or a city. So if there's a town in the space, we will put a city down. The next time we have to build that space, it will go to town and then it will go city and back and forth that route. It's dependent on how many towns we have in there. If we have the same amount of towns as cities, then we will have to put a town in there. And then it goes to the city. All right? Explore. Explore means that we're going to put more explorers on the board. And that's dependent on what we have on the next card that flips over for that turn. And as soon as you finish that, oh, and I forgot. Before any of the invader stuff happens, we will do fear cards. Fear cards will be happen before we even start the Ravage build and explore phase. I've got to, sorry about that, I forgot to bring that up. So it's beneficial to try to get as fear cards as po soon as possible so we can do some damage on the board to these invaders. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to advance invader cards. So we'll advance those cards when we space. So dependent, uh, that's why I'm saying the jungle will become Ravage on the next turn. After that, all slow powers will be done. As soon as that's done, then we will uh, do the time pass. This is basically a cleanup, getting our cards in the discard pile, and then we start the spirit phase all over, and we keep doing this till either we lose or we win. So that is the uh, basic turn order. Now, we are going to start the playthrough. So, I'm going to increase the thing so you can see the invader board and you can see the board and you can see my character cards and you can see my character board and we will uh, the last thing we have to talk about is um, well we'll talk more about the cards that you get extra when it comes about um, during gameplay but uh, at first turn I'm probably not going to get another card probably going to get uh, power because we need to start doing some uh, damage here. So let's go to the um, board and start to get playthrough. Hope you enjoy the explanation. So let's get into the nitty gritty of the game. All right. Okay. So the first thing we have to do uh, is our growth phase. So I decided on what I want to do. Well, I got my four set of cards that I just explained earlier. Um, what I'm going to do is do a presence three spaces away. Um, right now, the Ravage is going to be in the forest next turn. So I am probably going to do Let's see, I want, I want to play more than one card, so uh, I will take one presence off here and I'll bring it, because it's still only two spaces away from my presence here, I will put, hmm, no, I don't want that. I think I'm going to put it here, because I want to get my powers for my innate, so I will do that. I'll put it on the desert, so I have two there at that point. Okay, so I need to get some stuff out of the forest. So I do have the 
I have to gather, I can be one space away so I can gather it in the, I mean with this Mars space or, or desert space. I'm, but we're not sure what's going to be on our, expo our Sporus uh, cards next. So that's the thing we need to be concerned about too. So I will need two whites. But we need to start generating fear right away too. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I will do so oh I get my three I <laughs> got yeah, I get my three um, energy. Okay? So I have my three energy. So I'm gonna do concealed shadows. No wait, I wanna do concealed shadows. No, because I can't really use that one. I don't need that one right now. Um, okay, I will use these two. So I will use Cross Wither and Fade, and I will use uh, Mountain Dread. So they're both slow powers. But because I have two white and two red, I can use my top ability here. That's a fast power. So I'll take this, I will get three. And G back, and I will put one back on my board, and I put it here. Okay, so I played. I haven't done those yet. All right, but I do get to gather one inventory. So um, what I want to do, because it's going to be ravaging soon, we have to move one out. So I'm going to probably do move this explorer onto this space. Well, no, that, I can do mountains. What I want to do it here. Yeah, I'll do it here because I have a I have a Donahan here, so that's good. I'll place it here. Okay, so I can be one space away from presence, so that's that's a perfect move. Alright. And um Alright, then that is my fast power. So then we go into the invader phase. I have no oh I have no fear yet. Because I also I forgot one thing is if you destroy a town or city you get um, a fear I think it's one fear and two fear for the city so that's a good thing um, okay so um, we're gonna do first of all the build phase so because I took the invader out of here it doesn't really matter because it's still gonna build something so we're gonna build a town here there's adjacent space. There's a city right here, so I looked And over here, there's an a infantry, so we're going to put a town there. Okay. Then we do our explore phase. And our explore phase is mountains, so we are going to put explore. Uh, here. And explore here. Okay. All right. Then we will advance our car. So this goes here to ravage. This goes over to build. Okay. Now I get to do my slow, slow stuff. So I can replace one town or one city. But first, I pay my my power. I get two fear. Oh yeah, move these two fear down. Okay, then um, I get to do one city or one, one city to explore or a, a city to a town or a town to a, explore. Um, right now, more worried about, shoot, uh, right now it's only going to be the forest. So I'm going to put uh, Oh, but it has to be Oh no, this one doesn't. But it has oh yeah, it has to have presence in the space. So I'm gonna probably have to take this one and move that and put the imagery in there. Okay. Then that's my turn for there. 
So that one's done, that goes in my discard pile. Okay, and then I do my Mantle of Dread. And we'll take this. And I get two more fear. So that means I get a fear card. So this goes in my fear cards, face down. Then I move these back up. So now I need to get four more fear to get another card. And it says target spirit may push one um, spore and one town from a land where it has presence. So the only presence I have is in the desert or in that space. So I can only push one inventory out of there and I will probably put it here. Okay in the marsh space and that is my two cards all right so that is my and then time passes we basically um, put my card in the discard pile okay and then um, it's the next turn so I have to do uh, figure out what I want to do for my growth phase I have one one pow uh, power right now and right now I have the, I have enough to do my two cards I have right here um, we are going to ravage in the green spaces so and the problem is um, I have um, you're going to collect a blight here, so that's going to give me two blight total. So that's going to be a problem. The other one I'm not worried about because I have the hind. So, what I'm going to do, let's see, I can. Shoot, I can't do that. Um, I'm not going to get any, any powers this turn. Um, alright, so I'm going to take, I'm going to add another presence, and that presence is going to go, shit, that's one put that away, and I need to have it. I get another card and I get something for this. I will do it here. I'm doing it by luck. So now I have a set uh, power progression because we're starting. Normally you would use these cards here to pick the minor power of major power. But we have the first one I'm getting is Target Tangled Woods. Target Tangled Woods is a fast power. It pays, it's one power, one spent, you have to pay one power. And you get two fears. And if the target land is a mountain or jungle, defend by three. Ooh, that's going to help me. So, I'll probably use this card. All right, for sure. All right, so I'm going to use that card. But I need, shoot, I don't have no orange. That's not going to help me. But it will help me with my blight. That's going to help me there. So, I will spend the one, dot, one point for this. Then I have a zero card that will collect another fear. And I will not collect any damage to my Dahan. So I will put that here. And this one, I defend by three. So, that's going to help me. So I got at least another mind to that. And this favors card do, I'm not using this turn. I can use two cards now, because I move my presence. All right, and, um, okay. So, uh, then I will use this card. So this is a fast card. Both of these are fast cards then. So I can basically do all these at one. And that's good. All right, so I'm going to use my this one first, so I get two fear for those over there. And if target is say MJ, defend by three. So that's what I did, defend by three. So that's where I'm at right now. So that one is done. 
Then I get one more fear. And the Han take no damage from Ravaging and Vengeance's turn, so I'm going to do it here. So he reattacks, he's not going to damage anybody. But that invasion will be gone here in just a few minutes. So that is done with. Okay, and I don't get any, any powers this turn, that kind of sucks. But, um, alright, so we're there, there. So next thing we do is uh, Blighted Island, we don't have Blight Island, so that's, we don't do that. So we do the fear part. So we're in Terra level 1, so it says here, in each land, defend one per uh, hut. So I'm defending for... So that card I just did, uh, it doesn't really matter, I still defend by two, but it doesn't really matter. So defend by two is going to help me, because I only have one inventory, it's not going to matter, it's one. But, um, can each side defend one per, okay. So this one doesn't have any, so I'm lucky I got to defend by three. Okay, so that's... I'm fine with these. So this is again defensive too. So in a way, I got this and this. So that's good. So this one gets discarded. All right. Then we do the ravage. Okay. So we're doing ravage and jungle. So we're doing this one. So we got two. I got a defensive three here. So that doesn't do anything. No blight. Doesn't kill my presence. And then this goes away for that turn. So I'm good. This one is. Uh, defend by two because of the huts. He's got a one, so I defend him, but then also I have four because he's don't, he just don't get damaged anyway. Alright, so then this guy dies off and he's gone. And these go away. Alright, then we have the build. So because we don't have a town here, we have a uh, explorer and a city, we're going to put a town in that space. And because we don't have a town in this space, we're going to put a town there, okay? Then we have to put the next card to see where we're going to have explorers. You can see that this is multiplied. So, it's going to be marshland. So we're going to put a, because there's adjacent uh, town here, let's go here. And we also put another one over here. Okay. Well, that's that turn. Then we're going to advance the cards. The next ravage is in the mountains, and this is going to be a problem. So, I need to think what we're going to do here. So, I have one more card that's a worn power. I still get one power to turn the next turn. So, I have to do my growth. Um, so, I'm probably going to reclaim all my cards. So, I'm going to claim my cards, plus I get another power card. And this one is Shadows of the Burning Forest. And what this does is a slow power. Uh, I get two fear. And if target land is a mountain or a jungle, push one. Push one explorer and one town. Um, Problem is that I don't have any presence in any of the mountains, so that's not going to help me. And building and the ocean, I don't have any presence either. So I could. No, I'm not going to get any presence this turn, so that's not going to help me any for right now. But it gives me two fear too if I want to do that. So I had to think of something that I can do to get some of these ravages out of the way. So, um, I could, no, that's not going to help me. Alright, so we're going to ravage in the mountains. That one right there is going to be difficult. Uh, let's see. I have. Okay, I'm going to cut off. So, one, two, three, four. And I will. Come back when I decide what I'm going to do. Alright. 
All right, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a presence. So I'm going to take uh, this one off so I will get three energy. Um, we're going to place it here because what I want to use is use Mantel Dread and uh, I don't know, I'm having that something. I want to pass power. Um, let's see, shoot. Uh, I messed up. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to help me there. Yeah, but that's. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Yeah, because I want to get my innate power. Yeah. Alright, so I have my Tark Dangle Woods and I got my Mantle Bread. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to get my energy so I get six energy total. Alright, so we'll put that there. So I got seven total right now. Alright, then I'm going to take one power here and then we'll change it for three. And pull one power out, so I still got a bunch of power left the next turn. Put this here. Okay. Then I will do my knee power. I can gather one away. So I'm gonna gather this one to my one of my presences. Um take one of these inventory out. Okay, did that. Then I have this, that is my fast power, target Tangle Woods. I get two fear, so I got one. I generate the card, then I have one extra in my in my generated fear. These go back up. All right, and if the target land is a um, mountain to jungle, you pay for three. So I'm going to depend for three here. All right, so that won't give me any blight. And then that is my fast power. So then they go. They ravage here. Of course, they're going to get a blight there. And one of those blights coming over here. All right. Then uh, they're going to attack here. They have three. I defend for three, so it's zero. But then I can use this to Han to. Uh, plus there's zero, so it doesn't affect my presence. I don't get any blight. So then, um, this two city is going to be gone. So that generates one more fear. Okay. And let's see here. Hold on. One second. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, let's see. Let's make sure. Double check. One more thing. Yeah, so it generates one fear. So, um, all right, it generates one fear because I took the city out. If I do, I mean, no, town out, one fear, two for a city. Okay, and then um, that's it for that. Then we do the building phase. And building is in the marshlands, so he's going to build one town here. And he's going to bound a city here. Okay. Well, oh, before that, oh, I forgot. Stupid me. I forgot to do that. So, let's, um, before I do that, I'm going to dummy. So, Back and then this gets back this time. Let's put this back. I mean, I've got one thing I have to do first. Okay, before I even go on to the, this part, I need to do my fear card. How about that? So we're still on trail level one. So each player removes one explorer from a coastal land. So I can remove, uh, I will move, remove one from here. And 
because we only ravage it. And then, um, that's that. Then I do this. So I'm gonna uh, defend with three. So basically, it's fine. And I'm gonna take this out. And it goes away. So I generate one fear. Then we, ge we generate one by here. We did that already. Then we build. So we're gonna build one town here. Well, yeah, because we got um, building. If any are present, add one. So I don't think we don't build in that space. That's probably a good idea. Let's see, build. Um, look at the invade part of the build station space. When there are invaders in a specific type of land, they either add either one city or town. Okay, so we don't build in lands without invaders. So basically this has no nothing in here, so we don't build. So we will build a city here. That's good for us. Helps us a bit. But that's right there is bad. <laughs> we have to figure out what we're gonna do there. Um then we do the export action and of course it's gonna be the water marshland again. We've done one invader here. And one of the because we're adjacent, that's fine. That's gonna be hard for us right now. So we have to do something. Okay, so after that I do my um oh, I have two here. Oh. So I'm gonna do this. So I get two more fear. So one, and then we keep one in there for the next turn. We get another fear card. Now we're I tell the other three, so now our objectives, we don't have to worry about the explorers anymore. We have to worry about getting the cities and the towns. We only have five things to get rid of. That's good. So the next thing is we uh, can target spirit, may push one uh, inventory and one town from a land where it has presence. Um, because we don't want it in the water. And we don't have, um, don't have anything, have nothing here, or we can do push this out because this is going away next this turn. So that reminds me also, we need to uh, take this out. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. So mountains are not affected right now, we just have to worry about more sides. Damn. Um, but because I have the Han, it says, whenever you use a power, you may pay one energy to target a land with huts regardless of the power range. Okay, so huts, uh, I don't have any huts there, but I do have a hut on that one. So I could push that into a desert or maybe a forest um, so I will push this one out in the forest and I'll pay one energy for that so I will uh, get one extra energy so I'll do that that's one good thing about having that power all right so that is my slow powers so this powers can be discarded all right, then uh, we go back to our spirit phase again. I have four, so I can do, what you get concerned about is getting stuff out of that other marshland, because it's gonna, it's gonna ravage this turn. Then it's gonna build. So, And we have one fast power. Okay, so I'm gonna gain a presence. Um, mountains, I think I have maybe. Um, So, 
the present sphere paint space away. Well, I'm going to put this one, I want three cards in one. Yeah. Yeah, three cards. And I'll put that there. Then I gain a card. So what happens is I get a major power. So I get this major power, and this is perfect for me because this is a uh, jungle. Oh no, it's not perfect for me. Um, but um, I have to take one of these out. So to be honest, I really like that one though. Um, So, um, discard this card out of the game, right? And so I have a major power. So, so I can, oh, I can do it from range of one. Oh my God, I will use this. Okay, we'll do that. So, I am going to do... Let's see. Do I really want to discard the card? I have orange on it. I really don't want to. I guess I can do, yeah, I'll do these. So this one I'll keep for next round. I can do this one, I'll do this one. Shoot, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do these. And then this, oh, I have to discard a card. So when is this gonna discard? This one out. Yeah. It sucks because it's a uh, fast power. Um, no, I don't want to take that one out. I think that cost. I don't want to, man. Here, this one. That can still reduce there. That one gives me. I need these two to do the freaking powers. So. It's yeah. up, dude. I'm gonna take one out. I don't know which one I wanna take out. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, stop. <laughs> Make a decision. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm doing um, Cross Wither and Fade, Shadows of Burning Forest, and Jungle Hungers. Hungers. And those are three slow, slow, so, but I have three plus two, so I can do two of my fast actions, so I can gather one, and I, okay, so I can gather one, so. Um, but this is one range, so I could do, I'm going to gather one in my desert territory, so that, wait, hold on, no, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to gather one put there. I have no desert right now. Um, then, my second action, 
uh, to show you up to two, two infantry, and I'm going to do it here because I have presence here. Two, so I'm going to over here. It doesn't matter. I'm taking two of these out on, and because I did that, I get one pair for each one destroyed, so I get two. Okay, and that's my fast actions. So. Uh, the next thing that happens is Ravage, so these guys are going to get um, one Blight here, and then the other one doesn't have anything, so we're fine. Okay, then we build, so we're not going to build here, but we will build here, we'll build a town, okay, and that's that. Then we have to explore. So exploring is all coastal lands. So we'll put one here, one here, and one here. Okay. All right. Oh, what am I doing? I'm screwing up again. I, I should have took my turn already. So let's do this. Um, we are on two levels, so he's probably going to place one town with one infantry in a coastal land. Okay, so this one will be an infantry. Okay, that we're done. Alright, so done with that. Alright, so I did all my, I did these ones here. Okay. Um... Then I do my slow action. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I can replace my cross wither and fade. I get two here, so I get one fear. So this is going to go here, and then I get one more fear because of that two fear. Then I replace one city with the town. So I'm going to take this city, or do I want to take the other city? No, I will take this city. I'm going to place it. Hmm, hold on, can I do that? Hmm. Oh, no, I can't do that. Can't do that. Because I need to be on a space with my presence. So, the only thing I can do is I can replace this one with a explorer. That's fine, I can do that. Okay. And then, um, that is done. Okay, so that moves my discard now. Then I get two more fear for my Shadows of Brain Force. And if the target line is mountains or forests, we can push one town and one city but I have to have a presence there um let's see mountain or city oh it's forest uh, I don't have presence there so the only thing I can do is I can move this inventory Here, okay, and that's done. Wait, hold on a second. Maybe not. No, I'm not gonna move that. Hold on, mountains or so I'm gonna move this one. Yeah, it makes more sense. Um, here. Okay, then after I do that, I got my jungle hungers. So I get to destroy all inventory and all cities in range from a jungle to presence in one space. So I'm going to do this. So I destroy all inventory. So all these go bye bye. 
and I destroy all the cities. So if I destroy these two cities, I get two fear. So I'm going to take one more fear, and then there's one left on the pole. Cool. So now all I have left to accomplish is I need to kill these two these two cities and destroy all uh, they they have. They don't have any. Um, Let's see, hold on a second. See, so yeah, I use that one. I use this one. I have three. One, two, three. Oh! And if you have two moons that I forgot about, I shouldn't have discarded these yet. And three green. I got three green. So I have one city. Um, so I can destroy one city. So I'll take the city off. But that gives me. Uh, Two more here. So I only have one city left to do. So then I can discard this. That was a good plan. Alright. So that is my turn, my slow turn. That was a great turn. Alright, so we're starting on the next one. So because I have no energy, well, I'm gonna get three. So what I'll do is I'm going to reclaim my cards, first of all, all my cards, and I'm going to gain a power card. So I'll grab and gain this one. Pretty good. Line of Haunts and Embers. It's a fast power, two range. I get two fear. Push up to two in, uh, explorers or cities. If your land has five plus two fear, Push up two or more explorers or cities and add one flight. Okay, so that's all right. So I have to think about that one. I only have three blight left. All I need is to take care of that. So now, oh, before I go, I need to put these out. So this goes here. This goes here. Oh yeah, this one goes here. This one goes here. The coastal lands goes here. So we're gonna still ravage in the coastal lands in the uh, marshes, but when we got the one in the trees, that's good. And then building in the coastal lands. So I need somehow. I can't take it out. Oh, I don't wait to the next room. So we have to get it out. Um, so. Let's see, I can probably do this. I'm going to do this again. So I get three. Okay. So I will do, I'm doing number three. I have to do that one. Okay. And that's three. And I need two more. I get a zero. And one green. So this is zero. I can do this one. That's a green. And I have one two with a green, but they're both ones, damn it. Hmm, can do it. How about I get to destroy the city? Um Could do this one. Could do that one and shoot. Two and it's one, two, three, and that would be perfect. Then I can do that. Um, three, two, one, have one. Damn it. I just had one more healing, but. I'm going to work out that way. But I do have my two and two, so I can be scatter one. Um, I get some fear. Okay, so we'll do that. Alright, so I have one fast and two slow. And only have two is zero. Okay. So, uh, first I do my fast actions. 
So I get two fears, so I get one more fear. So this goes here. Now we just need to get this town, the cities out. And that's good. And then I get one more fear on here. Okay. Push up to so I get two range to my presence. Um, so I can do push up to two infantry. Okay. So I could push up to two infantry. And it's too range far away. Um, okay. I will. Push two hands. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to push two of the tree out of here, there, and then target has blight, um, you get two more here, so that's it, and push up two more, so I can push this one out here, okay, and... I had to add one blight. So, so I'm gonna have to add one blight somewhere. I don't know, I would have to add it here, then I have to add one more. So I'll go here. Okay. So that is done. Okay, plus I have Three and two, so I can destroy up to two. Two imagery, so. Um, that's not gonna harm me any, cause he's gonna die anyway. Um, so I can put it. So I get two fear for that. So I'll do this one. So two here. Get two empty off. I get two more fear. So I get one more card. And that one goes off. So two. Two fear that. Okay. Alright, that's my turn for there. So these are done. Okay. And I'm going to slow this. So, um, next thing to do is my fear cards. So, let's see what we get. We're at three now. So, I'm good. So, each player removes an invader from a land with two or fewer invaders. So, I can move it. And we're going to take this one out. For sure. Um, so, that's out. Um... In each okay, so that one's done. Then invaders okay, the invaders do not build in lands with uh well, so this uh, this one doesn't work because they're gonna build. Okay. And this one okay, that one's done. Okay, next one, each player chooses a different land and moves up to two health worth of invaders per okay so a different land is a different land and moves worth of invaders per thing oh so I get so this is most beneficial I get four and two so it doesn't really matter um let's see I will take These out. Okay. Alright. Then each player moves one. 
explorer or city from a land with no presence, or one band with a land with ah, uh, oh, I don't have any presence there. So no presence. So one. Oh, I'm do this one. Okay, yeah, that was great. All right. So, ask me. No, we're doing ravage. No ravaging. Awesome. Build. Only building that's being done is it's a city, so we got a town there. Okay. Then we exploring, and that's mountains. So we will put one. There's nothing here. So I'm good. Oh, we'll add one here. Okay. Because we don't have a city here, Jason. To this, you need a city or ocean. And that's nothing there. So I'm gonna. Okay. So then we change these over. Okay. All right. So now it's my soul turns. So first of all, I get two fear. So I get two fear. It's gonna go here. All right. So then um, these go back up. We got a very good chance of winning this game. We're almost done with all the fear. Okay, so if the target that is a jungle push one. So let's see, need presence. I got. I'm gonna push those. I'm gonna get away. Mountains. Oh, I can do. Or I can do the mountain. No, I can't do the mountain. Um, I can push these. It's not, it doesn't really matter with those. It really matters right here, but there's nothing I can do. What's this? And push one. Um, so I will push it here. Okay, so that's done. Then uh, with this one, I can destroy all. in all cities. So, I'm in the jungle, I can see these and I can take these and this off. So that will destroy a city, so I get two more fear. Oh no, one more fear, sorry. One more fear. And do I have two? I got two and I only have two, so that's not gonna work. So this goes away. All right, and that's my turn. Okay, so then these appear next. Now I have to decide what I do on my next turn. I have no um, kind of cards, though. I don't know if I really get. I probably want to gain presence, so I'll probably take this one off. I will put presence here. This comes back. And I need to pick three cards. So I'm going to get three plus seven, so seven total. All right. And I will pick, let's see, I got two, I got three more pair there. Anyone that has, okay, so I'll move to that. All right, I will, no, you know what? I'm not putting it there. I'm gonna put it here. Because I need to, I need the presence there. Okay, so I'm gonna ravage this turn. So I need to put I got three. That's two. So that's three, so that's good. Um so yeah, I will do 
this one for sure. And a towel container woods. That's why I get two beer plus the um, target land of mountains would depend by three, so that's gonna help. I will gather let's see what I have. Do one more beer there. And I can replace this with a oh this will work. That will help me that there. Okay. I will do that. So, I have two fast. Wait, maybe I'm going to do something else. Then. I'm going to have this one, two here. See, this I like. So, I'm going to swap that with this. Yeah, swap this with this. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see, is that going to work? Okay, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so first thing is I get two fear. All right. And I depend by three, so I'm going to depend by three here. Okay. And then that's that. So then I got one, two, three, two, two. So I can um, destroy up to two. All right, but I only get one land, so I'm going to get one. So, all right, so I can do. That of that um, build doesn't matter. I'll take this one off. Okay, and then um, I get one fear, so that gives me another card. And guess what? I won. So my victory is already done. I don't have to worry about the houses. I victory. I failed all. Did all the uh, fear tags, and we won. This is the first time ever I've won. So, you guys saw the first time. That's how you play Spirit Island. Oh my god, I can't believe I won this game. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, put any comments or suggestions on the video when you watch it. And I hope you enjoyed the, video, uh, the game. Uh, the next one will be Gloomhaven. Um, I will be playing my next um, adventure with my characters, so we will go through the rules and uh, things during the playthrough. But I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, hope you enjoyed Spirit Eye. Thank you for watching. See you next time.